Hello everyone, this is Paul Asadorium, Product Evangelist for Tenable Network Security. In this video tutorial, I'm going to cover how Nessus integrates with your patch management solutions, including some of the problems this will uncover, the benefits of integration, and show you a quick demonstration. First, I wanted to cover how patches may fall off of a system. This could be caused when maybe a backup is restored and that backup doesn't have the patches that were applied recently, an older version of the application is installed, or maybe two instances of the application exist but only one was patched. Also, your patch management system may lose track of a system due to the, it moving around on your network and going from building to building, and the patch management system loses track of it and doesn't apply the latest patches to it. So you end up with a situation where a certain percentage of your hosts end up missing patches even though you have a really great patch management solution. So you can supply Nessus with credentials. First you can have Nessus log in locally to a system and it will pull the patches back comparing against the large database of known patches that Nessus has. You can also integrate with the patch management solution that you have. So if you don't have credentials for a system, Nessus can pull down the results for your patch management solution and get patch level information for hosts that you don't have credentials for. Also, when you supply credentials to Nessus now, you can get the information from the target itself and the patch management solution, and now Nessus will create what I like to call a matrix. You can provide credentials for multiple Windows patch management solutions and also create a matrix. So you can have Nessus login locally or not. So whatever patch information you're getting, whether it's from Nessus or Microsoft WSUS, SCCM, Tivoli Endpoint Manager, or VMware Go, you can compare the results with, between the different patch management systems. This is what it will look like. This is the results. So you can detect missing Windows security bulletins that have been missed by your patch management solution. You can also identify discrepancies between just your patch management systems or whatever Nessus finds when it's logged into the host. Let's go over and see a quick demonstration as to how you'll set this up inside of Nessus. Very quick, the policy that I've used to create some of the data that's in the results section. If you go on over to the patch management and the SCCM server settings, you can see I've configured SCCM, I've told it what the server is, the domain, and I've provided some credentials to it. So that needs to be in your policy in order for all of this to take place. So then once I run that scan, I come to my results. And here are some results that happened when I configured patch management systems, multiple ones, uh, for the creden credentials inside of Nessus. And I also configured it so that Nessus could log into the end user systems. And I go to the new plugin, Patch Management Windows Auditing Conflicts. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can look at the, all of the hosts that did have conflicts, and I can see what those conflicts were. It's very nicely spelled out for you. Nessus reports that this host is vulnerable and is missing MS-11049, while IBM's Tivoli, Tivoli Endpoint Manager is not reporting vulnerable. Then I can go back to hosts, and I can go back to that specific host, and I can go into this where it says, hey, this host is missing MS-11049. I can scroll down, and I can get the details that says, hey, these three patch management systems, they say that this is not vulnerable, and here's why. The remote version of this file should be this 2005 904060, but it's not. It's out of date. So you get an explanation as to why. This is a great report to send to your Windows Systems Administrator. It will aid them in finding the problems with their patch management processes. That concludes this video demonstration. Thanks for watching. Please visit the links on our resources page for more information.